hi this is manish today i'm going to uh, talk about router transformation in informatica so scenario is like uh, employee table is having uh, 14 records for department number 10 20 and 30 so i want to split uh, those record into three parts so the 20 record should go to the table employee underscore 20 30 record should go into employee underscore 30 and for 10 uh, employee under employee uh, 10 10 department number record should go to employee underscore 10 so i have already uh, 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 created the employee structure in source schema and also i have uh, uh, these tables uh, created in target schema let me verify um, this is scott is source schema so I'm just checking whether employee table is there or not so it is there I'm just validating data so it is having 14 records for 20 30 and 10 batch uh, department number and batch 11 is the target schema and uh, employee router employee underscore router 10 is uh, one uh, one table corresponding 2030 so three tables have been created in the target schema so click on mapping designer now import your source definition and target definition in mapping designer uh, source definition i have already imported source definition employee is already there mm, target uh, I have to import target so click uh, target target tab go to database now I'm just taking the target table so this So I have uh, imported uh, the structure for target uh, table. Uh, now click on mapping designer. Create mapping. M underscore router. scenario click ok drag and drop your employee table just click on expression select all drag and drop all the columns to expression now here I will use uh, router transformation so this is the symbol for router transformation and I will drag and drop all the ports from expression to router transformation. Now double click uh, router transformation, create groups in router transformation. So here uh, first group will be storing data for employee 10, second will be for 20 and third will be for 30 and default port if uh, it not matches any condition it will go to default port now click ports click um, department number equal to 10 yes. okay click on this department number equal to 20 and yeah. <clears throat> department number equal to 30 click apply ok so I have created three groups in router transformation
so you can see three groups uh, have been created now I'm taking uh, I'm just uh, some this, this okay now drag and drop your target uh, table so then 20 and 30 this is table still I think for 20 okay this is for 30 and track and up 10 also so this is for 10 control s so this is valid mapping so um, router transformation this is uh, active or passive if you see grouping condition here um, department number 10 20 and 30 and the rest of the thing will go to default so if you will sum of this uh, it will give exactly same as uh, source but if you will change condition here like instead of uh, department number if you put here true so 10 30 plus all values which is coming from source will go to the target so if you will if you will put true here then employee 20 will contain all the data okay it will not filter any data so so based on this condition you can uh, define it is active or passive and uh, the router transformation is transformation is active transformation because the input so input uh, number of uh, source is not equal to output it may it may be a uh, more or less depends on condition click ok now uh, go to workflow designer create workflow so this is a router transformation so check for router transformation here router scenario okay now double click your solution properties go to mapping tab and uh, check your source relational connection is cart for target it should be batch so I am deleting uh, unwanted properties from target I am deleting update as update which is not required okay control s now run your workflow and check whether so check your run check the run properties so by seeing this run properties you can easily find like from source uh, qualified it is uh, fetching 14 records so this is correct because we have 14 records in our source uh, target now 6 records is in going to uh, employ router 30 5 to 20 and 3 to 10 so some of this is 14 ok so 6 records should go to 31 to 6 ok 5 should go to 20 and 3 should go to 10 I am just uh, verifying uh, no, this is correct or not ok so this is correct so check whether uh, data is got inserted into target or not so for 10 it, it is having 3 records in employee 10 for 25 records got inserted 
एन फॉर थर्टी ओके सो दैट मीन दिस इज करेक्ट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो